So welcome to episode two of uh, how I compose a piece of music for the piano. Um, so I made a bit of progress from the original little um, part of the composition in this embryonic stage. So that's what I was doing last time. I've got what I would describe are fragments. I've got other elements that I feel um, could end up coalescing into the finished article um, and I often find myself going down into cul-de-sacs of areas which sound quite good for a while and then it doesn't quite connect up to other parts of it. So I'll play you some of the kind of fragments that I'm uh, developing and um, I'll, I'll start with the original notion that we, that we worked with. sounds pretty good I think um, however um, I tend to work to like a pattern of chords as a main uh, element of the composition um, and I worry that this is slightly bland actually so you've got these uh, chords here and then it's okay I'm, I'm I think it's worth mixing it up a little bit. Um, so maybe doing these chords. So I'm, I'm going to play with that a little bit. Um, Of a melody which hasn't been developed at all yet, but having a part of a melody that um, is sustained until the chord changes, giving it some resolution. So I quite like that. Um it's got some um, possibilities, hasn't it? Now, I also had um, another fragment that I felt worked quite well, maybe in a separate. Uh, piece to the to the composition or a separate um, phrase um, so once I'd worked on this original piece um, that's where you've got a change in the pitch, uh, so the original part is and then changing the pitch a bit to um, I, I really quite like that uh, different texture what I'm a bit concerned about with that part of the composition so far, it sounds slightly frantic. Uh, um, it has a really nice sound to it, I, I feel happy with that. But I'm um, thinking about the tempo. I haven't quite arrived at how the general real feel for this should be. Now, recently I've been listening to a wonderful composer, not very well known, called John Field. He was an Irish uh, composer, born in Dublin. Just at the end of, sort of Mozart's time, he actually um, performed for Beethoven. Beethoven gave him a five-star rating. Uh, it really, um, very accessible classical composer. I'm going to play uh, the start of um, this piece.
very lyrical. Um, I'm not able to in any way match or emulate uh, John Field. He's a, an accomplished, beautiful uh, composer. Um, however, I really am inspired by the sensibility, and that's where this um, is a bit too frantic, as I say. And I would love to um, have a similar ambience to uh, John Field's um, Nocturne. Interestingly, he apparently invented the idea of a Nocturne. Uh, there was a little um, fun fact. So it's coming together. There's one other fragment that I think is worth um, sharing with you. Um, what you'd need to do in a composition ideally is have a bridge, have um, a part of the composition which alleviates the listener from feeling too much of a repetitive sound by changing the chords and changing the key and giving a, a, a light motif and I've gone for this notion, which I think I'm going to find a way to um, connect into, and I think I, I know I'm going to do it. So you had this sound originally. And I'd be repeating that and developing it a little bit further. And then you've got this other shift that you'd have. There's another element where, because we've got this B minor, um, I think I can reach to, to the B major, which would have a nice shift. Um, find a way to uh, transport us back to the original B flat minor key which for those of you who are not particularly uh, you know close to the musical framework it just gives it back to its kind of home base um, so that's kind of progress I'm making um, it's uh, coming along pretty well I still haven't actually got that riff that, that absolutely is my hook quite yet but I think it will arrive often um, when I'm doing these experimental phases the <laughs> the riff or the hook or that uh, magical element just presents itself and that's magical when that happens and in the event that does occur I'll be very quick to share and boast about it thank you for watching I hope you found it quite interesting and I hopefully will come back in a few days um, with episode three. Thank you.